Imagine being in the throes of World War II, surrounded by a sea of uniformed men, and then there's a bear. Yes, you heard that right, a bear. Not a metaphorical bear, not a code name for a soldier, but a real, live, fur-coated, honey-loving bear. This isn't a tall tale spun by war-weary soldiers around a campfire. This is the true story of a bear who found himself enlisted in the Polish army during one of the darkest periods in human history. Our story begins in the early 1940s amid the chaos of World War II. In the mountains of Iran, a group of Polish soldiers found a young bear cub, orphaned and alone. This wasn't your typical war acquisition, but then again, these weren't your typical soldiers. These men were part of the 22nd Artillery Supply Company of the Polish II Corps, a group known for their tenacity, courage, and now their bear-rearing skills. The soldiers, far from their homeland and faced with the grim realities of war, found an unexpected source of comfort in this bear cub. They named him Wojtek, a name that means happy warrior, which, as it would turn out, was a fitting name for a bear who would soon become much more than a mascot. Wojtek quickly became a beloved part of the company, providing a sense of camaraderie and morale boost among the soldiers. He was more than just a bear. He was a symbol of resilience and unity in a time of great adversity. But Wojtek was not destined to remain a mere symbol or pet. As he grew, so did his role within the army. So how did a bear end up in the Polish army? What role did he play, and how did his presence impact the men he served with? These are the questions we'll delve into as we unravel the incredible true story of Wojtek, the soldier bear. Stay tuned to find out. Our bear's story begins in Iran, where he was found by Polish soldiers. In the midst of the turmoil of World War II, this unlikely encounter would change the course of this bear's life forever. As the tale goes, the soldiers stumbled upon a young cub, orphaned and alone. He was small, vulnerable, and far from the menacing beast he would grow up to be. The soldiers, moved by his plight, decided to adopt him, naming him Wojtek, a name that means he who enjoys war or smiling warrior. Now you might be wondering what a group of soldiers would do with a bear. Well, the answer is quite simple. They treated him as one of their own. Wojtek was fed condensed milk from an old vodka bottle, was taught to salute, and even learned to smoke and drink beer. Although it's important to note that the latter is not exactly recommended bear behavior. You see, bears are incredibly intelligent creatures. Their brain is the largest relative to body size among carnivorous mammals. They are known to use tools, have excellent memories, and are capable of recognizing themselves in a mirror, a feat only a handful of animals can achieve. Wojtek, being a Syrian brown bear, possessed these remarkable traits, allowing him to adapt to his new life among humans. And these weren't just any humans. They were soldiers, men who lived by discipline and order. The soldiers trained him, not as a pet, but as a fellow soldier. And Wojtek, in his own unique way, fell in line. Bears are also known for their strength and endurance. A brown bear can lift nearly double its own body weight. Imagine the assets a bear could bring to a group of soldiers. The possibilities were intriguing, to say the least, but Wojtek was more than just a novelty or a mascot. He was a comrade, a source of morale in a time of war. His presence brought a sense of normalcy in an otherwise chaotic world. And so this bear found himself enlisted in the Polish army, beginning an unexpected adventure. His tale, as captivating as it is unusual, is a testament to the resilience of the spirit, whether it be human or bear. Now a member of the 22nd Artillery Supply Company, our bear wasn't just a mascot. He was known as Wojtek, a name that means happy warrior in Polish. And true to his name, Wojtek was a cheerful presence in the ranks, lifting the spirits of soldiers who were far from home and in the midst of war. But Wojtek was no ordinary bear. He had a job to do, and he did it with gusto. He was a fully enlisted soldier, complete with his own rank and serial number. He was even paid in beer, honey and cigarettes, which he would smoke by eating them whole. Wojtek's duties included carrying heavy boxes of artillery shells. And he did this not because he was forced to, but because he saw his human comrades doing the same and wanted to help. He would mimic their actions, carrying crates that weighed up to a hundred pounds and never once dropping a single one. His comrades were in awe of his strength and dexterity, but they also appreciated his keen sense of smell, which proved invaluable when locating enemy positions. His ability to stand on his hind legs gave him a height advantage, which he used to scout out the landscape and alert his comrades to danger. 
Wojtek also had an uncanny ability to sense the mood of his fellow soldiers. If they were feeling low, he would perform tricks to lighten their spirits. If they were on edge, he would act as a calming presence, his large, gentle eyes providing comfort in a world that was often brutal and unforgiving. In the midst of war, Wojtek was more than a bear. He was a comrade, a friend, and a source of inspiration. He was a symbol of resilience and courage, a testament to the power of camaraderie and the indomitable spirit of the Polish people. But what was life like for a bear in the army? Let's delve deeper. From carrying ammunition to boosting morale, our bear was more than just a soldier. His duties extended far beyond the traditional roles of a military personnel. You see, this was no ordinary bear. This was a bear that was as unique as the circumstances that brought him into the ranks of the Polish army during the Second World War. Now you might be wondering, what exactly were the duties of a bear in an army? Well, our furry friend was a jack of all trades. His strength was utilized to carry heavy artillery shells, a task that would normally take a group of soldiers. His uncanny ability to mimic human behavior saw him standing upright to salute passing officers, amusing everyone in the barracks and lifting their spirits amid the grim realities of war. But it wasn't all work and no play for our bear. In his downtime, he was known to enjoy a bottle or two of beer, a habit that endeared him even more to his fellow soldiers. They saw in him a comrade, a fellow soldier sharing the burden of war, and in many ways a source of comfort in times of distress. His keen sense of smell, a natural trait of his species, was also put to good use. He was able to detect incoming threats that humans couldn't, adding an extra layer of security for the troops. In essence, he was an all-around asset to the army, performing roles that were both practical and morale-boosting. Our bear's duties and roles were as varied as they were unique. He was not just a pet or a mascot, but a fully-fledged member of the army, contributing his bear abilities to the war effort in ways that were both tangible and intangible. Our bear was indeed a soldier like no other. But what does his story tell us? Well, it serves as a testament to the bonds that can form in the most unexpected of circumstances and the lengths to which we will go to find comfort, companionship, and a sense of normalcy amid the chaos of war. As we recount this unusual story, it's hard not to wonder about the implications. The tale of a bear serving alongside the Polish army in World War II is not just a yarn spun for amusement. It's a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity and the surprising bonds that can form when circumstances demand it. What does it say about us that amid the chaos and brutality of war, soldiers found companionship in a creature as wild and untamed as a bear? Perhaps it speaks to our innate need for connection, for camaraderie, even in the most dire circumstances. Or maybe it's a reminder of our capacity for kindness, our ability to extend a helping hand or paw to those in need, regardless of how different they may appear. This bear, this unlikely soldier, serves as a symbol of the unexpected and often absurd realities of war. But it also tells a tale of unity, of shared struggle and shared triumph. It's a story that transcends the battlefield, reaching into the hearts and minds of those who hear it, reminding us that even in the midst of darkness, there are moments of light, moments that remind us of our shared humanity. In a broader context, the bear's tale brings into sharp focus the complexities of World War II, a conflict that reshaped the world in ways still felt today. It reminds us that behind the grand strategies and political maneuverings, there were individuals, each with their own stories, their own trials and triumphs. And so, as we reflect on the tale of this bear, let's remember the men who fought alongside him, the hardships they endured, the bonds they formed, Let's remember that in the midst of war, there are stories of hope, of unity, of unexpected friendships that defy all odds. So next time you think of the Polish army in World War II, don't forget their bravest bear. More than 70 years later, the story of our bear still captivates and inspires. A bear who stood shoulder to shoulder with soldiers, who carried shells in the heat of battle, who was a comrade, a mascot, and a friend. The tale of this extraordinary bear has left an indelible mark on the annals of history. Today, the legacy of the bear is kept alive in a myriad of ways. There are monuments erected in his honor, books written about his exploits, and even films that seek to capture the essence of his unbelievable journey. 
In Edinburgh Zoo, where he spent his last years, a bronze statue stands tall, a testament to the bear who was more than just a beast, but a symbol of resilience, courage and camaraderie. But perhaps the most enduring legacy of the bear is the inspiration he provides. His story has become a beacon of hope, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, there is room for friendship, for camaraderie, and for the extraordinary. It is a story that transcends borders and generations, that continues to touch hearts and ignite imaginations. In Poland, the bear's story is taught in schools, told to children as a part of their national heritage. He is a symbol of national pride, a reminder of a time when the Polish army stood defiant against the odds. His story is a part of their identity, a thread woven into the fabric of their history. But the bear's legacy is not confined to Poland. His story has traveled across oceans, touched millions of hearts and continues to inspire. It is a story that resonates with the human spirit, a story of survival, of friendship and of the extraordinary. And so each of us has a part to play in keeping the bear's memory alive. By sharing his story, by remembering his courage, by celebrating his extraordinary life, we ensure that his legacy continues to inspire for generations to come. And so the story of the bear in the army lives on, a testament to the unexpected and extraordinary events of history.